What's happening? This is Synoptic, and this one mark number 9 of my Napoleon Total War commentaries. This is on Grassy Flatlands, Large Large. The players are the strategist, TLG, the Last Guards Clan, playing as France, and a guy called Apu and Ahazapina Petalon, playing as Spain, obviously from The Simpsons. And the strategist is playing under the name Andy's Favorite Toy, which is either a reference to Toy Story or something far more disturbing. And we're going to go through Spain's new ability since the patch and the new DLC, Peninsula Campaign, and that's a few, fair few units who can deploy anywhere on the map during the deployment. So I'm going to show the distance here. So you can clearly make a lot of ground. You can use it for holding or some ninjaing, which is what we're seeing here. Now what my interpretation was, this army was meant to kill the general and just wreak as much havoc as possible. And they deployed right near the gen. You see the cavalry moving right there. The strategist responded by moving out his general into a safe area sir, behind his line, sir, turn his line around, general, and set squares, attack. and counter charges with his own cavalry, who are far superior to this Spanish lot. And also with the infantry, the ones with the guerrilla ability to hide anywhere or deploy anywhere, they're quite low in stats. Apart from that, there's one light infantry that's 60 strong or so. It's kind of strong in terms of stats, but instantly this army is being clamped down with cavalry assault as well as that the dead cav earlier. He was perhaps a bit too aggressive there in trying to get to that general. So without the cavalry he loses his mobility, loses his flank protection which allowed strategists to continuously attack the flanks. So it's very hard to protect the sides with only two units but there you have it. The strategists already routed the other light infantry and there goes the remaining one. And so what the strategist did here was he charged the light infantry right next to the square so he wasn't affected by the rearing up. And that has not been fixed since 1.3 or I don't know if it's an issue but cavalry will still rear up even against forming squares. What they have changed is when you are in melee with that light infantry they can't form a square and that goes for cavalry as well as infantry. And we found that Inventory charges on squares fare quite well as, as well. And that was a pretty fast result there. There goes his all in bet of uh, trying to wreak as much damage as possible. There goes that contingent force, and it was worth quite a lot of money too. Now, Spain has another move here with some more cavalry. He notices a gap in what appears to be a pincer movement from the strategist. And I'm also assuming that this cavalry also has the intention of killing the general using the map there. You can see the general is quite split off. But there's also two line infantry here, as well as cavalry, to, to uh, block this area off. And you can also find the strategist strategy here is no line infantry, so it's taking a lot of line and cavalry, which are the main strengths of France. France's line infantry, the Voltigia, and the Chasseur, they're quite mediocre in comparison to the other ones. However, we all know how good France are in terms of line infantry and cav. And France are pretty good, apart from the World Cup. <laughs> Back to the game. Spain is retreating now. This is probably why uh, he didn't move up his army in the first place. He was quite reluctant to attack that huge force. It took both sides of the map, which is one advantage over going lots of lion, just the the area consumption. Although you might find trouble using these builds in a lot of bottleneck maps. And it's also very intimidating to try and run at something this wide. You can see with that shot there. And depending on the success would also mean whether or not he could have just stayed there with his artillery because Strategy just has no art. Although that it's only a foot artillery so it's only round shot. So one more cavalry, I think that's about it for all of Spain's mobility. And you're probably also noticing the distance between this assaulting cavalry and the supporting infantry. So it's quite clear that if you're going to do something you need a lot of support, whatever you can. It's not good to just throw one thing and then hope for the best because things can go wrong such as this. The strategy is adapted to that by setting a square with a covering line infantry plus covering cavalry which were outstat and outnumbered. And this is basically 
what <laughs> Spain should have done, which is just charge cavalry at the square and just run out immediately with very close infantry nearby. And followed by further pushes with the main army. You can see the blue lines on the right side. And here is an example of the cavalry rearing up from an even unformed square. So even if as they press the button, they still will rear up. Our men are running, sir. And this is where the cavalry comes in into play. The less cavalry your opponent has, the more mobile you become. And it's just so much easier to make these assaults with very little retaliation. So we're getting the full surround here, just check the map. And it's basically over. Coffin closed. He's ran back all the way back to the red line, no escape route at all. And cavalry ready on the sides again. So strategist strategist is employing side charges with cavalry as opposed to direct or rear charges. Rear charges normally are the most damaging but very hard to attain. And direct charges normally mean heavy losses for your cavalry regardless of a direct impact on a square or just straight up line. And that was one trivial thing, charging infantry against an old guard. I think you know the result of that quite quickly. And down goes the general too. And with Spain and no resistance to morale shock for infantry. And we'll see a mass route here. All gone. So what strategists employed was a heavy envelopment strategy build with no light infantry. Obvious weakness to that is someone who's heavy on kiting someone who will always keep their distance with good cavalry support so waving off his cavalry while he keeps running him back well Spain went for the all-in bet with rear ninja contingent and if that didn't pay off well that was pretty much it for the game so we game to the strategist and Apu thanks for watching